Good morning, artists. Ms. O here with another activity for you. So if you guys know anything about me, there's only one thing in this world that I love as much as making art. Well, two things. My cats. I've been spending a lot of time with my cats for obvious reasons, and I thought, why don't I teach you how to draw one of my cats? Henry. Henry is a nine-year-old cat, and I've had him since he was only a few months old. He's adventurous, sweet, and a little bit of a wild child. A perfect muse for drawing. All right, stars, let's get started. I'm gonna use a pencil to begin with and then go back and color in. To start, I'm going to use my favorite shape, a heart. Make it nice and big because we gotta fit a kitty face in there. Next, I'm going to add the ears to diagonal lines to make triangles. To make the kitty's eyes, I'm going to be using vertical ovals, or up and down, but you can use whatever shape you'd like. Next, I'm going to fill in the pupils, leaving a small white space for a highlight to make the kitty eyes look wet. Of course, I'm going to do an upside down triangle for that kitty nose, and two back-to-back -back J's for the mouth. To make the kitty's neck, I'm going to do two parallel lines and two curved lines for the sides of the kitty. For the kitty's feet, we're going to do two curved lines, almost like M's, one for the back foot, one for the front foot, and add some kitty toes. I like to do almost like little W's underneath. One kitty toe, two, three. One, two, three. We're gonna add some vertical lines just to make sure that we can see the front kitty legs Ooh, and a little curved line for the tummy. Starting at the bottom of the kitty cat, make a big curve going up, then move up a little bit and make a copycat curve right next to it, almost like a parallel line. And there you have a kitty cat tail. At this point, we can go in and add some details. Details are those little things that make our masterpiece beautiful, like adding some vertical lines for a nose or some kitty cat freckles, even whiskers. I like just put the tip of my pencil on the paper and just whip across the paper to make some whiskers. Henry has a white belly, so I'm gonna add some mountain top zigzag lines at the top of his tummy to show that it's white, and I'm gonna add some stripes. They're gonna be curved lines that go from one side to another, almost like rainbows. Now you'll notice that I'm also adding some little lines that don't go all the way across. I think it makes them look a little bit more like a tiger. I'm even going to add some stripes to Henry's tail. You'll notice that the stripes on Henry's tail actually go the opposite way from the ones that are on his body. We do this because of perspective and also to help make the tail look a little more round. Just a few more stripes on his head, maybe a nostril or two, and there he is, ready for coloring. Now when I'm drawing or coloring, I like to look at a picture of what it is that I'm coloring. So here's my picture of Henry that I'm going off of. I'm gonna be using gray, black, a little bit of brown, and some white crayon. I like using crayon for this because it makes them look fluffy. Don't know why, just love it. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up, but if at any point you're curious as to what I'm doing, feel free to pause the video and take a look. You'll notice that I am going over my pencil lines. I think it makes it look beautiful and darker and trying to go in with as many different colors and details as I possibly can. And there he is my sweet baby Henry in all of his glory. Now I'm actually gonna also add a little speech bubble because Henry likes to say meow. I'm gonna add two diagonal lines to make almost like a triangle and connect it with a big old bubble. Oh, and there's the boy himself. Let's see if he likes it. What do you think, Henry? Yep, I think he approves. 
cool thing about this how-to is that you can really use it to draw any cat or dog or pet in your life. So get out there and draw your animals. And don't forget to send them to me. Which brings me to Art Star Shoutouts. Here we have Wesley's Dog Man. Looks like it's straight out of the graphic novels. Awesome job, Wes. And we have Landon's Zen Tangle. I see so many beautiful colors and textures. And finally, we have one from our first teacher, Miss Daniel. Thank you so much for sending in your beautiful, I'm guessing that's scratch art, Zen Tangle. I'm so excited to be getting artwork from you guys. Don't forget, you can always send me stuff at my school email address or just comment right underneath this video with your beautiful artwork. It doesn't have to be of an animal or even of a zentangle. Just send me anything that you are creating during this time. I would love to see it and I'll include it in a future art shout out. See you later artists.